All right, so here we, we again take make use of the famous uh, trick uh, identity. So here I'm going to pull out one of these famous ones. Because this is a product here, let me talk a little bit about it first. You can't really split it up into pieces. You can only split these integrals when it sums in a standard way. The, the integral of the sum would be the sum of the integrals uh, when each exists and is nicely behaved and whatnot. But the product, you can't just split it up like that. And so wouldn't it be nice if we could turn this product of two functions into a sum? That would be so nice if we could turn the product into a sum. And of course we have a paragraph here on most identity sheets where it says products to sums. Okay? That should be really, really, really useful. So in particular, we're going to use this one right here. Um, I'm going to take a little snapshot of this. This is the one I want. And I will close, move the other one over there, and I'll keep this one close to me so that I, th we know this is the one we're going to use. I'm using that one because it has a sine and a cosine. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe I should zoom in. Maybe. All right. Uh, so, anyways, there it is. Haha, it's a ghost. All right, enough playing around. Uh, so that's the identity that we're going to use. It. I'll help you read it. It's sine a, cosine a, a half, sine of the sum, sine of the difference. So this guy would become. Um, let's go with white. This one would become the integral of a half. I'll put the one half out here. Sine. I need to do sine of the sum of them. And then I need to do plus sine of the difference. And of course, all this is times the differential dx. All right. In here, I should put the sum of the two angles. So the sum of the two angles looks like 15x. And in here, I should put the difference of the two angles, which looks like 5x. So altogether, I have that this is a half sine of 15x dx plus a half integral of sine of 5x dx. And this is a thousand times easier than the original problem that had the product. There's no way we can handle that. That one's uh, what well, we could. There are other things, but I'm going to let that slide. This would be a nice way to do it. One way to do it would be to use that famous identity. Uh, here you would do a u sub. Uh, you would make u is equal to 15x. Then your differential would be 15 dx. So 1 over 15 times du would be an even exchange rate for a dx differential. So this would become um, a half integral of 1 over 15 du times sine of u, which of course would become 2, 1 over 15 times cosine of u. A derivative of cosine is negative, so I got to do a negative there, negative cosine. And then here you'd have, of course, something similar. You'd have a half uh, cosine of 5x with a 1 fifth and a negative um, plus a constant. So this would be negative 1 half times 1 fifth cosine of 5x plus a constant. Here I would replace that u. That would be 1 half times 1 over 15 cosine of uh, 15x plus 1 half times 1 over 5 times cosine of 5x. Um, let's see if I can zoom you out. Okay. Um, plus a constant. That's how you do it. This is really the, the crucial step here was using this identity. After that, it's just a couple of easy u subs. I would do u sub there, and of course, the u sub that we did here, u was equal to 5x, du is equal to 5dx, etc., etc. All right, that's not so bad. We'll see you guys here next time. Peace.